Well, yesterday on YouTube, I saw this thing where a man made this weird coffee fluff. He called it quarantine coffee. So I thought, hmm, tomorrow I want to remember to do that. Just kidding. That was two days ago. So yesterday I completely forgot. And today I finally remembered. So as you saw, you just add five teaspoons of instant coffee and then five teaspoons of white sugar. Um... I wanted to use brown sugar, but I thought, you know what, I'll stick to what they told me at least for my first shot because I don't really know how to do this and I've never done it before. So then I get a little interruption, add in four teaspoons of water, just regular cold water and drop that in there. So five, five and four is how I remembered that. And then you're just going to whisk it, which I'm lazy, so I got out my little KitchenAid mixer. Yes, little. I don't have one of those big ones. Just one of these little guys. So you're going to whisk that together. And it takes a little while, but you can tell the color and the consistency is starting to change a little bit. Even in the dark lighting, you can see it's getting lighter and fluffier, starting to hold a little bit of shape and texture as I'm whipping it up. I'm looking at those oranges and thinking, I think I need to go get an orange right now. That sounds really good. And that looks just about done. Yep, holds a little bit of a peak there. And now I excessively tap it out because I'm just kind of checking to see what that looks like. And there's the uh, over there. Checking the consistency. Yep, that's nice and thick. It's hard to use a spatula in a bowl when you're not holding it with your other hand, but you know, we do the best with what we have. So there we go. That's got a nice texture to it. Man, looks kind of like peanut butter, whipped up fluffy peanut butter or something, but that's just instant coffee, sugar, and water. Pretty weird. Wouldn't have thought that's how it would react. <laughs> so now you're going to go ahead and just pour in whatever milk you would like. I use almond milk, so... There's my almond milk there. And now we're gonna scoop, scoop this instant coffee fluff, our quarantine coffee right up in here. TJ came to look, check out my weird coffee. I asked him if he wanted some and he said, definitely not. <laughs> so there we go, I'm just scooping it all in. And there you go. That's just, um, that's your quarantine coffee. Took me probably five to six minutes to make. It was pretty easy. I did have instant coffee already, but curious what it will taste like. Instant coffee is kind of bitter, but with the sugar, it did get a little bit sweeter. But as you can see from Thea's reaction here, mm, yeah, she said no thank you. So she's not really interested in having that again. That's okay. So here you go, and then you're just going to want to mix it in with that milk. Kind of makes a nice frothy latte type drink for you. It's got a little bit of a thicker consistency than normal coffee and milk. So it's iced cold, but try it out and enjoy. Enjoy your quarantine.